Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Mesale and today I'm joined by Isi Afodele. Your Saturday tonic. <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> Is how you doing? I'm very well, thank you. And uh, you? <laughs> I have a very long gist, but I'll just shorten it by saying a very special thank you to the PRO of Lagos State, the police um, PRO of Lagos State. I was held up at that Morocco, same Morocco I've been complaining about. Oh, that you place know. that they, they... Okay. I mean, they've been disturbing people, exactly. you know, harassing people. I was coming to work yesterday, they stopped me, and the policeman kept insisting for me to take down my window. I said, no, Why? I cannot take down Did my you window. you show them your flash? Yes, I showed him my ID and everything, you know. He kept on insisting that I must bring down my window. I said, mm. no. The governor of Lagos State categorically said, when you see the ID card, you let the person pass and exactly. all of that. Exactly. So when I was not going back home, apparently they had marked my face that oh, when I'm coming goodness. back, you know, and all of that. So by the time I got there, this woman again, so I had to call, you know, the PRO Bala, DSP okay. Bala. Okay. He called the DPO. In fact, every, they were just running head asking. I said, boy, loose. he didn't have to get to that point, you know. He didn't have to get to that point. Exactly. Because the policeman, I had to tell them, I have children at home. If you can afford to put your life at risk, I can put my life at risk. Mm -hmm. When I come to work, I control every movement, you know. I mm -hmm. don't take down my glass. When I get here, I'm... You like, have to be very careful, especially at times like this. Security is key. It's very key. Because some people can even dress as It's not only on the security. It's my health now. Mm. Because the policemen, I see the way they are oh, very yes. careless with people, putting their head into people's cars and all of that. Mm. I, I don't know how much you've exposed yourself. I don't, I don't want you to expose me. You oh. know, so I'm very grateful, um, DSP Bala. Thank you so much <laughs> for yesterday evening. You know, he had to bail me out because... Wow. Ah, Okay, well, it was sure of power. So those are of you us doing, that though? don't have anybody to call, God ah, will help God us. Will help us. <laughs> <laughs> I've been okay. I've been doing well, um, taking um, it one step at a time, keeping healthy, eating lots of fruits and vegetables, and uh, taking a lot of water because it's essential during this period. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So, all right, so today, here's what we found as today's quote. Now, if we teach today as we taught yesterday, we rob our children, of tomorrow that's from john dewe do you agree with this education let me talk like a proper yoruba person mm. education cannot remain the same it can't it, it, we in fact we we are still using um a the cake a cake outdated national policy on education Oof. we're still using the one that has been revised since i think the last one was actually revised in 2013. so how many years ago was that it is time for a change. The curriculum has to change. We have to teach our children resilience, adaptability. Um, technology. Technology. A lot of children are not even tech, tech savvy. So there is so much um, we need to teach our children today. Some children are even learning subjects. They don't even know the relevance of it. Mm. So if you say, OK, why are you reading? Why, is, why do they teach you math? They will say, I, I, I don't know, I just have to read and pass. So we need to make the children understand the concept behind each subject. Education has gone be, according to Albert Einstein, education has gone beyond math and English, but to teach the children critical thinking. Everything that they exactly. need to know for the time that we are in. Exactly. Right now. Critical thinking. So I'm happy that today solving. we have, because um, we're discussing COVID 19, the future of education in Nigeria, and we have three mm. amazing guests to talk to us. But first, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back for what is in the news. So mm. please stay with us. We'll be right back. 